Hello, this is George Senda, the one, the only, the official, the original, the authentic. The guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy YouTube imposters. Commentators, or trolls, or troll commentators who put a really fat woman in their kitchen and say it's my kitchen. So, talk about that in a minute. All right, now I got to try to get this video going here. Let me see. Uh, bear with me for a minute. I just came from the store. My knee is objecting. There we go. Okay. And it's been an interesting time since Fred. Here's Fuzzy. Fuzzy defended her territory last night. Boldly and bravely. It's Talk about that minute too. There we go. Okay. Now. Uh... I just came to Safeway. Friday when I went shopping, by the way, they don't make scissors like they used to. Friday when I went shopping, oh, I can do this. All right, here's one thing. This is for Kathy. I keep meaning to open this, and I keep forgetting about it. And it don't want to open. <laughs> so much for that scissor. It's a garbage. <laughs> and it's also a haul video in Safeway. Okay, there we go. So here's one. We have batteries for, I forget if it's me or Kathy. I think it's for Kathy. Well, I gave her two batteries. So, with the remote. All right, now let's get to the unboxing of the other thing. Oh, yeah, I got my Meow Mix today. This is Tender Center's Basted Bite Chicken and Tuna. In fact, it looks good enough for me to eat. I would love some barbecue chicken. <laughs> anyway, let's get this wedged under my chair here. <sighs> Had an animal invasion last night in here. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay, here's the box from Amazon. Thank you, whomever said it. We have... The other popular bubble wrap. Slightly squashed. We have Jack Link's Teriyaki Beef Jerky Half Pound Bag. We have... Ah, the fence! Ah! Son of a bitch. Stupid thing keeps falling off of there. And it just landed on my kneecap. Ow. I gotta put a board up for the damn thing. You think it's dangerous. Put a lamp behind there. Maybe that's why it fell. Oh, that did not feel good. Right on my bad kneecap. Oh. Okay. I'm awake now. I need a bigger apartment. All right, poultry selections. Poultry entree and sauce, chicken liver and sauce, chicken breast and gravy. Give the kitty something different for a change. And we'll put that down somewhere. And, oh, more batteries. So Kathy will have four batteries and I'll have four batteries. All right, more Rayovac rechargeables. And I always charge them anyway because I've found that they, they claim they're rechargeable, but found that I've gotten ones brand new out of the store that I haven't been charged yet. And I got her this. Actually, I'm the one who bought this stuff. <laughs> well, this is for Kathy. She loves Centipede 20 games. So I'll connect that when I see her. She'll come here Wednesday or Thursday. And go to Costco. All right, now, uh, okay, we have, here's the haul portion of our program. We have Cheerios, we have a pizza, I won't show you the other one, but two bottles of peach snapple, and they finally got the big ones in. And we have 
some raisin bread. You got something in order, it'll go wonderful with the raisin bread. We have Texas toast, seasoned croutons, and these really good cherries I got last week. Got two bags of cherries. And ham and cheese scramble. And maple bourbon, maple bourbon, maple bourbon, every time I try to say this, bacon chop kit. Some Wild Wonders Cherry Tomatoes Gourmet Medley. <clears throat> broccoli and broccoli and cheese sauce steamed. Two cans of tuna fish for the salad. I will give the kitties some tuna fish. Raspberry turnovers that they didn't have last week. A package of pork chops. I cut off the fat. I haven't had pork chops in a long time. And oh yes, see. No, toilet paper. <laughs> Somewhere. And that's about it. Let me put this stuff away. Oh. Then I got a few things to say. I don't know who's in chat or who's not. Or anything. Nobody in chat yet. Okay. Always surprised me. Nobody comes in here. Last night, uh, I go down to feed Tiny One and Orangey and Gray and this neighbor of mine who's into the paranormal. Her dog died. She got in a car wreck, broke her back. She's standing out there with a bag of um, Karina Cat Chow feeding the damn raccoons. There's the mama raccoon. She said it had a broken foot, which it doesn't. The papa raccoon, she said the two babies, one got picked up by owls, which they didn't. Well, I went over to feed Tiny One, no Tiny One, left it some dry food, walked over to feed Orangey, and the time it took me to cross the street, the raccoon went over, ate all the dry food, then went over and started harassing Orangey, scared Gray away, and then the mama and one of her babies comes across the parking lot right to where I'm standing, literally in front of me, and would not leave, and I had to chase it across the parking lot. Get the hell out of here. Go back to the creek where you belong. Go hunt berries and lizards and fish and whatever, not cat food. So Orangey got fed, Tiny One didn't get fed, Gray got fed, Mama Cat and Kitten got fed, and, and Fluffy and Little Girl got fed. Little Girl's been a big sweetheart. She's been nuzzling and asking her petting all the time. So I get back home and about, I had the door open, and I brought most of the food in, a little bit of remnants in the bowl. At about 2 a.m. I hear this chomp, 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 and what the hell is that? Then I see this striped tail come in. I think, oh, it's Mama Cat looking for food. She's hungry. So I'll get up. It was the baby. There were two babies and the mama, mama raccoon. The baby came in there. Fuzzy stood her ground in the doorway, hissed at it, growled at it, pawed on it, at it. And I chased it down, down the hallway. The mama cat took off. The first baby took off. The second baby climbed the railing and started skittering on the railing like a trapeze artist or on, on those parallel bars or something. And I'm, get out of here, get out of here. I'm not hurting it or anything, but it growled and hissed at me, and then it finally took off down the other side of the balcony. I don't want those things in here. And I've acted a lot of dry cat food that has spilled off the floor today and a lot of dust. So I see the woman again, I'm gonna say, stop feeding the friggin' raccoons. I don't want them in my apartment. I don't want them attacking my cats. So that was fun. Then Friday, when I went to Safeway, I got all flustered because I had all these bags in my bag and I left my wallet in there. Someone turned to my wallet, so I had to go get my wallet. But I did a lot of cleaning today and uh, someone downstairs left a whole bunch of National Enquirers and us and 
People magazine will give something for Kathy to read. So, and I'm going to buy our cheesecake on Costco at Costco on Wednesday, Thursday, whenever she comes by. So that's all I've done. I caught up in my sleep finally, but my knee is still hurting. We'll crawl around under the bed for two hours looking for my wallet that wasn't there. All right, where the hell is everybody? <laughs> and it was very cold all night. Cold, and I had to close the door. Then I had to run the fans. It gets too hot here with the door closed. But if I had the door open, I wouldn't sleep all night. I slept all night. I slept all morning. I finally woke up about 2 o'clock and then left the house here at about 5. Went to the bus, went to Safeway, came back. Then I'm going to go feed the cats in a bit. And somewhere iced my knee down, so getting on the bus hurt. So uh, that's about it. Well, if no one comes in here, I'll, I'll put this stuff away and sit here for a couple minutes. No one comes in to chat, I'm out of here. And I want to thank the people that sent me donations for the charging cable. The official Apple charging cable is at the post office. I'll be able to pick it up tomorrow. Anchor is sending me another one of their charging it, and they took my suggestions so that they're going to pass along their tech support people about covering the cable with more rubber so it doesn't fray and stronger rubber. That'll come in seven to ten days, so I'll have two charging cables. In the first month, I'm going to buy a third charging cable, maybe even a fourth. So I have one in my bag, one in my MacBook bag, one in my backpack, one here by the computer and one on the other side of the bed. So I have four charging cables. I don't have to screw with them. All right. Oh, and I found the, um, when I was cleaning, I found some other things. I believe this goes to the MacBook to do the HDMI. And then I found the little, what did I do? This is the charging brick for the iPad. Still haven't found the cable, but I found the brick, so. <clears throat> I think it's a, it may be a charging brick for an, my iPhone 4, 4, I don't remember, but I'll have to ask Apple when I go down there next time. That's why I need to start labeling this stuff. And happy moon landing day. Today is the anniversary of the moon landing. I don't know where you were. I was in the Sands Hotel with two showgirls in front of me. Everybody was pouring champagne. The rest of the casino was oblivious. Watching two beautiful showgirls. I was 16 and uh, everybody else was gambling away. Didn't care about the moon landing. 1969. It's amazing how long that's been. Uh, 31, 51 years or something like that. So... That's where I was in Vegas, 16 years old. Never seen a showgirl before. It was amazing. Um, but uh, it was an amazing event. The whole world, most of the world stopped except Las Vegas. <laughs> so I have no idea. Maybe they're watching Trump. Maybe they're waiting for Mitch McConnell to give up his penguin butt and tell us about the stimulus. I don't know. Hold on, I got to get up. This ain't going to be fun. One, two, three. Oh. A minute, I'm gonna put away the cherries and the pizza. Ugh. Ugh. My knee is objecting to even moving. When I get done, I'm gonna ice it down for about 10 minutes and go feed the kitties. Okay. Oh, 
All right, now for my pre-dinner uh, appetizer. Here we go. Bought six rolls of toilet paper, but I left them over there. Boy, that's a big piece. One of my things for the bucket list is to get a food dehydrator so I can make my own turkey. Well, I don't know how to cry. Cry maybe up at the mistakes I've made in 50 years and not do certain things, but the world stopped and got got together for a while. That was a great thing. Everybody in the world stopped. Except for pop and possibly the Vietnam War we were still in. Well, they said we would never get to the moon. They said we would sink. And now the United Arab Emirates, I can't figure that out, they've sent their spacecraft to Mars. Why? I don't know. <laughs> what is on Mars? Does Richard C. Hoagland know? I'm speaking of Richard C. Hoagland. By the way, hello, Jack. Fine, except my knee, which didn't help. I dropped the fan on it. By the way, while I was in Safeway, this guy had a Donald Trump 2020 face mask. I said, where'd you get that? My wife bought it for me. We started talking. The guy lives in Pahrump. He knew Art Bell. He listened to Coast to Coast. He told me he moved in California where his property taxes for his house for $9,000 a year. In Pahrump, they're 900. So we, and he was a Trump voter as I am. Got to talking for a while, very nice. I didn't get his name, I should have. I need to carry a notepad with me, but. So that was kind of cool. Art Bell fan. In Peru. And we, I talked about Coast and George Norrie and Art Bell. and So he's going to look at my video. So let me have another fan. So and I hope Jack gets a job soon. The pandemic lost his job. And I hope the stimulus package has money for essential workers. And people start getting, a lot of people have still not gotten their employment, which is disgusting. Now, the word out of AstraZeneca, they've got 1,000 or 3,000 people in trials. They've developed an antibody. The drug they're using kills, <coughs> excuse me, this may kill me. Kills the coronavirus, they've actually got people who are sick with it. And they're going to go to 30,000 people next. So we may, it's a little early, but we may have a cure for the thing that will kill the damn thing. Uh, Kathy likes cheesecake, so do I. She's coming over Wednesday or Thursday. She had to walk home. From wherever she went to, I just called her. There was a police action. They stopped her bus. So she's worn out because the distance is there. It's two or three or four miles from where she went home. And there was no bus. And it was the last bus. So she's not. And the, dr the driver, she thought it was the other bus. She thought that was her bus. And the driver, she said, was being a real, real jerk. Not the word she used, but she's worn out, poor thing, from walking home. This is another reason why we want the stimulus check, get the thousand bucks, get the grant, go find her a car. She's promised to clean, but there's no point, <coughs> no point in cleaning. I gotta clean the kitchen, the floors are just after. I can't do more cleaning until we get all this laundry clean. I got empty boxes for it.
So on the 31st, I'm going to go from bank branch to bank branch and beg for quarters. Show them pictures of my laundry and say I haven't done laundry in months uh, except for little bits because, and some of it is like bedding has to go in the large laundromat. They're at, laundromats are asking people for quarters. Uh, I spent Friday when I got home from Safeway and most of Saturday stripping the bed, getting under, folding the bed up, which was fun, vacuuming under the bed, crawling around under the bed, going through every bag, boxing up another box of laundry, which is sitting on another box of laundry, all of which needs to be washed, shaking the bed out, vacuuming the bed because a box of uh, Walmart cat litter spilled all over the bed, and then Fuzzy tracks cat litter into the bed, and crawling around my knee. I did, my knee really objected to that. I cannot really crawl around my knees. It hurts like hell. And it was very hot. <laughs> And then when I got done, I just plopped in the bed. So laundry has not been done. I keep meaning to do laundry, but my body says, you're not doing laundry tonight. So need a haircut too. Kathy comes over, she's gonna give me a haircut. The problem with the laundromat is we're in a national coin shortage. Safeway doesn't have change. Kroger doesn't have change. The banks don't have change, and nobody knows where the hell all the change is going to. Uh, it's a sofa bed. It's pulled out. If I don't pull out, there's nowhere for the cats to sleep on, and it's very comforting to have a little girl and Fuzzy next to me, and they insist on lying next to me. I don't have a bed. The sofa bed is it. And when I fold it up, Fuzzy sits there and squeaks at me, what is this? My bed is gone. <laughs> he gets very indignant. Yeah, Corona quarters. <laughs> and like I said before, I have a theory. We've had 120,000 people die. How many of those were business owners? How many of those were property owners that had saved quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies? Because stores are short of pennies. Which is all the pennies. Most people, a lot of people throw them on the ground, throw them in fountains. Coinstar is saying their profits are down because no one's going to the store to dump pennies. And some people are afraid of touching currency and change. I wash my hands all the time when I come home. Here's Fuzzy. Fuzzy's my favorite cat. I mean, I love Fuzzy. I love Fluffy. I love Little Girl, but she's the baby. She's the, the cutest because she is tiny. And I love Tiny One. I love Tiny One and Orangey. But, you know, my, I, I love my little girl cat very, very much. I love Fluffy, but he's so skittish and does the backing up stuff. Don't hug me. Don't pet me. But Fuzzy comes up, rah. She squeaked today just to talk. She let it this little eat. And she loves to talk and she loves to tell me it's time to go to bed or I want my wet food. She's so cute. And uh, Fluffy lives here. Of course he comes in my apartment. <laughs> he spends 90% of his time outside. He is so weird. It'll be pouring rain, lightning, and thunder, and he'll want to go out. Then he comes in soaked. And I have to dry him off. Then he, I dry him off with a towel, and then he growls at me for drying him off. He is the most obsessed with going out cat I've ever had. I've had 27 cats. Yeah, Fluffy sleeps in the bed. Every once in a while, I wake up, and all three of them are curled up next to me. Sound asleep. We're all asleep in the bed. The problem is that Fuzzy and Little Girl both want me to be on the bed. Look, they both want to be on. They want to be on the bed with me. So, hmm. um, 
And so they vie for my attention. They want to be with that person. So I had to use one of my, I, one of my combs has disappeared. I had a little, little girl and Fluffy come in with burrs. I bought this box. I've got the whole, I've got three shelves worth of the uh, shelf thing full of wet cat food and another box still, plus more cat food coming in. So I'm good. I bought a mail mix. I bought an IMS. I bought five boxes of uh, more mail mix. So I'm good for, you know, weeks. They were calling her at 3 in the morning, waking her up, asking for Zorg. Oh. Speaking of trolls, there is a sewer gap troll. I call him running roadkill. He's Rally Squirrel on Sewer Gab, and he's Howie Cat on his YouTube channel. And he had the nerve to say his spies are everywhere, stealing my line. He did a video saying that he had hidden cameras behind me in my apartment, which is ridiculous because I'd gone through all these bookshelves and dusted them off enough and reorganized every bookshelf in here, all 17 of them, and dusted them and dusted all the books that I know exactly what's in here. Nobody's been in here. So then he had this incredibly fat woman in a short lower skirt. I couldn't see what she was wearing above her and she had a silver necklace on and she's dancing like she's a hula dancer. And he claimed that she was in my apartment and I was getting turned on, which is ridiculous. There should have been no harpoon sign. That's how fat she was. And he had it blurred like he put Vaseline all over the lens. Blurred. And the kitchen is not my kitchen. My kitchen has white cabinets. His video had brown cabinets. There's only been a, a certain amount of woman. There was a woman involved with another site a long, long time ago who came in and was a total, you know what, when we gave her a ride home from San Mateo, Marin County, she started photographing us without our permission and laughing and giving us so much crap and talked crap about me on that site. The site no longer exists. My apart two apartment managers have been here, Kathy and Patty, and my next door neighbor, very briefly to see something cool I got in the mail. That's it. No other, oh, I did have a nut who comes up in here, but she's gone to every apartment. I think they finally carted her off her way to the funny farm permanently. She thought she lived here and would go in and start cleaning people's kitchens. But she wouldn't clean like you would want to get the place clean. She'd take a rag and, and start cleaning one spot incessantly forever. So, you know, the police have been called multiple times and her brain is destroyed. Uh, drugs or being nuts, I don't know. I haven't seen her in a long time, so... Nobody other than that has ever been in my apartment. I have, I used to have 5,000 paranormal books. I now have a, I'm not, I'm guessing, because I haven't counted them lately. I'm running out of room. They're stacked up like cordwood, but I've got about 600. And I've read every book in here, uh, except for the newest paranormal books. I got about six I haven't read yet. And I keep trying to read the Donald Trump astrology book, which is terrible. Um, and I'm working on something that if oh, I was given 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 50 bucks, I don't have to pay that back. I can pay the 20 bucks back, 20 bucks back. So I get my charging cable and I use different groceries and cat food. I thank the people who sent it. I will return the 40 bucks on the first, 30 bucks actually. And I'm working on something if it works out and I save up the money after we get the stimulus check, I take 500 bucks toward the car fund. We drop the thousand dollars, get our grant, get another car. I will pay off two coin loans, pay one month's extra rent, and then start paying down my credit cards. 
And I hope by March I won't owe a dime to anybody, and then I can start saving up to buy land or even come up with five grand for an FHA loan to buy a house, preferably a duplex, live in the duplex, rent, rent out the other part after a year, sell the duplex or keep the duplex, buy a second duplex and start making money. So, well, the problem is the trolls have done everything they can to sabotage my, my, what I'm doing. And there are a number of people think I would be a good paranormal convention speaker. but no one's given the opportunity and oh my god hold on oh Jesus son of a bitch get out of here Excuse me. I brought in the dry cat food. <sighs> so the raccoon would not come up here to eat your cat food. Well, as you heard, I'm looking at the doorway and I got the two bowls, the empty bowl and the bowl had I consolidated into one bowl, put it on the edge of the bookcase on the shelf. But just now, the raccoon went through the open screen door, reached up, pulled both bowls on the floor, and I just spent an hour vacuuming all the cat food today that had spilled on the floor. And now the whole bowl of cat food is all over the floor by the door. I had to get up, chase the stupid raccoon away, lock the door, and now I got more cat food on the floor. And like, Son of a bitch. I don't want to hurt the thing. I know they're hungry, but go eat berries and nuts and fish and... Bugs and snakes and whatever the hell you're supposed to eat. Don't eat my goddamn cat food. Go away. They're addicted to cat food and dog food. I have seen them climb the dumpster. I'm nice enough that at times I get apples. And I've gotten carrots and pears and peaches, and I, I cut them up and I wash them and I cut them up and I throw them over a fence and they all fight over them, give them something to eat. But I really hate these. I, I can't say the word I want to use. You know what it is. It begins with F. I hate these goddamn records. I really hate them. Look, I'd need a saber tooth. I'd need the, the, the saber tooth cat from He Man Master of the Universe to fight these things because they won't go away. Last night, bigger than this box, the baby raccoon comes in here. Fuzzy is standing in the doorway, <laughs> growling, hissing, pawing at it. The damn thing wouldn't go out. I got up, went to the doorway, I said, get out of here, you son of a bitch. And then they, excuse me, it goes racing down the hallway and suddenly jumps on the metal railing and it's crawling upside down like a sloth. And I'm going down there with a mop trying to per, spur it along so it just goes away. And it's hanging there, hissing and growling at me. 
it finally jumped down and ran down the balcony. But they're that aggressive that they'll come in. They have no fear of humans. Like I said, you need a saber-toothed tiger or, or one of the X-Men that can turn on an animal or something. No, they just want cat food. Because if you normally if I see them, they go and bother Orangey, and they, they, they'll go up to Tiny One and eat her food, and she growls and hisses at them, too. So does Orangey. So does Mama Cat and Kitten. They'll push the cats out of the way and eat their food. I don't want them to be more like cats. But the problem, they live around the creek, which is right behind my building, and you can't get rid of You're not allowed to kill them. It's against federal water. Consider watershed animals. Maybe we could send them to Mars. And the possum comes up here. There's a possum, and it's more, it's scared. I feel sorry for it. At least it's scared. It's hungry, and it starts munching out of the remnants of the bowl. So now I have to take all the bowls in. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> but I don't want them in here because they will, uh, it's a canard that they carry rabies, but they can. And I don't want my cats to get rabies. And I don't want me to get rabies. I sure as I don't want my cats to get bitten or clawed and hurt. Kathy wants to kill them. She hates them. She got so tired of my bitching about them that she wants to kill them. There's another reason I want to move out of here. If I move to the... Nevada desert somewhere, there's not going to be raccoons around. There might be coyotes, there might be rattlesnakes, there might be other things, but you ain't going to see no raccoons out in the high desert or the low desert. Kathy's cats are fine. They are asking for attention all the time. What time is it? Yeah, I'm going to go till 9.30 and I'm quitting because I have to go feed the kitties. And after dark is when, as you can see, that's when the damn raccoons come out. So I have to sit there with Tiny One and guard her food. And because the raccoons are around now, I probably have to feed Mama Cat later and Kitten later in the night. After dark, you can't. It's really hard to feed the cats because there's they're raccoons that live in the storm drains during the day. They sleep in the storm drains here. And they come out the minute the sun comes down. They start. <laughs> They do the jungle telegraph of raccoon. They start, eh, 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 and they love to scream. It sounds like Art Bell's old scream. You remember Art Bell with the, he had the sound from hell. They sound like that. And there'll be four, five, six raccoons in the storm drain. I went out last night. The woman had, the mama, the baby was there. The mama was there. Last night, the mama and two babies were there. The papa was there. I had seven raccoons one night go after the cat's food, and I chased them down across the parking lot. Uh, I'm sure there are. At one time, um, Sewer Gab was making $8,000 a year, and he's made thousands of dollars off the disgusting uh, fan page in there. He gets paid by the page view. And, but I I will deal with that. If I get revenue bearing land and start making money, I will hire an attorney. I start going, and first I go after YouTube with the attorney and other things. I'm not going to give my plans, but I need about eleven thousand dollars to do it right. And by the way, you can donate to the channel through Super Chat or through. Let's see if I can I can type this. Won't let me type. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Uh, where is it? Have all these notifications. You got to know where they are first. I know where the owner of Sewer Gab is. He's in Missouri. But I have to take certain steps first. We need a car. Go down to YouTube. Meet with their legal department. But first, I got to do something else. So that's going to cost money. Everything costs money. All right, you can send. 
uh, money to PayPal at falky2013 at gmail.com or send a donation to Super Chat in here. And that helps pay for things. And by the way, if we get the stimulus money and if I get all my coin loans up, pay my credit cards down, get the car, I'm going to wait according to their usual schedule. GoPro will probably come out the GoPro 9 in September, and I will save up for a GoPro 9. Then you'll see me walking down the street with my GoPro and not my iPad. Why? And when we get a car, we'll get the device for the car, and we will be doing live videos in the car as we tootle around in California. I plan to see... I plan to see... <laughs> I plan to take Cat to the Grand Cam, but it's a matter of money, and then we got to have somebody feed the kitties. My next door neighbor could feed the kitties during the day. The Mexican fellow can feed tiny one, but who feeds orangey? And I figure that's got to be, even if we fly and the, the crud is over, that's going to be two, three, four days. We're not going to be here. Someone's got to feed the animals. My cats can stay in here for three, four days. So it'll probably not be on after all this is over. But if I pay the credit, I have two credit cards for 300, one for 100, and pay those off, get the car, get the five coin loans out, $465. Other than rent and cat food and the pg e bill, which is right now 25 bucks a month, I won't own dime anyway. Put money aside every month to do what I need to do, get the land, then get the second car, and then I'm in business. Laundry money is factored into what I spend every month, if you can get laundry money. I may have to go threaten to sit on somebody for long. We'll sit on you unless you give me laundry money. I'm the laundry terrorist. I will pretend you're a trampoline, jump up and down at you until you give me rolls of quarters. Oh, God, I haven't been to Vegas since 74. It's changed so much, I don't know how to recognize it. Last time I was in Vegas, and when I went to high school in Vegas in 68, 69, or 69, 70, I don't remember right now. I had to go back and find out. It's on the bucket list. If I never ever got my diploma, there were 300,000 people in Vegas, and everything from the MGM to the airport was undeveloped. And then you had the hacienda, and it was all sagebrush and sand. It ain't that way now. Yeah, my mother went to Vegas in mean, 74. I was planning to go to UNL, UNLV, and then didn't go. My biggest, one of my biggest mistakes ever was to not stay in Las Vegas. So. I was... Okay at blackjack, I won $400 once. I like roulette. And uh, only bet black. <laughs> one on one to one. And the only thing that's going to kill you is red and double zero. My mother worked for an attorney. My mother was a nurse for years. When you're a nurse, you're, you're nursing rich patients. You get to meet a lot of people. Okay. They're not fake hospital visits. Excuse me. Be right back. I can find it. Okay. Here's a folder from John Muir. Here is the medications. Doclocycline, 
DNA supplies, bacitrase and ointment, which I didn't get, prednisone, continue taking albuterol, and lodipine. Now you could read this. Right there. Page two. Atervastatin, which is my Lipitor, Fluticasone Propion Salmotrol Disc, which is Advair, Teotropium Inhalation Capsules, Spiriva. Here's my medication. It's what I take every day. Here. Procedure. AP chest portable. X-ray right elbow. X-ray knee right trauma. Allergic to the following drugs. I'm not going to say which ones they are. And there's a summary. And then let's look at the after summary. Um, activity is tolerated. Difficulty breathing, headache, persistent dizziness, slight headedness, nausea and vomit, redness, tender signs of infection. Severe uncontrolled pain. Oh, God, I didn't call them. Forgot to call the doctor. I got to call them up. Uh, I never got a call from them. Temperature greater than 100 degrees. Visual disturbances. So I got to call my doctor and apologize. This is the, what they told me to do. My knee and elbow were x-rayed. I have a small fracture in the right elbow. And discharge instructions... COPD. You never cured of COPD. And this goes long term option therapy. And there's what happens when you have bronchitis and COPD. So I'm not making this stuff up. Ramona Bell had asthma. And here's prednisone tabs with additional information on all of that. Plus, they test me for coronavirus, which I don't have. Those go on for pages and pages and pages. So I wanted to show you that this is not BS. I am not faking anything. I am not making anything up. And these jerks can go shove the whole folder you know where. Now, I didn't call them on the 15th because I was in too much pain and too exhausted and lack of sleep. And I got to call UC and I'll do that tomorrow. And apologize. Ow! The cat just fell on my foot. So there's the whole folder. You see, the other thing, stop stealing their money. It's my money, jerk. I paid into Social Security, state disability, Medicare, unemployment, federal income tax, state income tax when I worked. So don't give me the stuff, it's your money. And everybody works in this country. I've said this repeatedly, but they, they ignore that fact. Everybody who works in this country pays into the system. So does your employer. It's called an entitlement. You paid into it, you're entitled to Medicare, medical treatment. And I'm on Medicare. They don't give me this crap, this troll crap, that I'm taking money out of your pocket my income tax returns are sitting in that filing cabinet. I'm not worried, but I'm just sick and tired of these, these jerks coming in and saying that all the time. Stop taking up a hospital room that somebody else needs. Stop wasting the taxpayers' money. Stop wasting my money. No. <clears throat> Here's Fluffy. Mm. 
now. Doing his famous reverse kitty. Yes, I know you want your cat food. Mount. Mount. Silly boy, will you get over here? Every time I try to reach for him, he backs up. <laughs> Silly mouth. Now I got cat food all over the floor. I got a pit. I can't have my door open tonight because of the cat food. It's too late to be vacuuming. Yeah, he does the beep, 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 back up. Runs away. Hold on there. That just went by me. <laughs> this. This is my Medi-Cal card. But. The system I paid into. There's my Medicare card. Everybody in the country pays in the Medicare when they work. There's my name. So don't give me this BS. I'm taking money out of your pocket, your wallet, your tax money, or any of the other stuff. Stopped working about 15 years ago or longer. Probably longer than that. I don't remember. But the point is, I started working at the age of 10. I wasn't paying into the system when I was working as a child. I didn't know anything about that. But I had deductions. When I started working as an adult, all over. I have cleaned out oil tankers. I've unloaded fiberglass. I have gardened. I worked in the school lunch from selling sim making and selling cinnamon rolls. I worked at Kentucky Fried Chicken. I sold newspapers. I worked at Jack in the Box. I managed five bookstores. I managed video stores. I worked in gas stations. So that doesn't give you an idea. I never had a job that wasn't minimum wage or, you know, why well, I never. Made enough money except when Kathy moved out, I was buying and selling stock. I saved a thousand dollars in a year because she wasn't living with me, racking up bills. My favorite job was when I ran bookstores. I worked at my friend's bookstore, Charlie. Mm -mm. No. I had a tooth pulled that didn't get pulled for six months. That's how I went up with asthma. 
and I have COPD and I have allergies to grass. That's why I keep it here too. My mother gave away the bulk of the state to all the rest of my relatives. She bought houses for them, helped them start businesses. I was the poor one because Kathy says your father was the alcoholic and when he died, she took it out on you. You were the bad son, whether you're doing anything wrong or not. Because she disapproved of whatever I was doing. So, I have, you know, everybody except for my one, one relative I have has a house but me. But they all had, a lot of them had good jobs too. One works for, worked for NASA, one worked for a hotel. So, I never had the opportunity to get a high paying job or a, anything but a minimum wage job where I worked and worked and worked. So, and I had Kathy and she wasn't working when we first met and I had to pay my bills and her bills, so. Look, I had opportunity to start a mail service, you know, people going to get their mail. Back then it would have been $40 a year. You open up a filing cabinet, you got a phone, you get a business license, you rent a little storefront, you made a ton of money. She wouldn't do it. I had a chance to go work for Bill Gates in Albuquerque at, when he started uh, working with MITS when he was about to form Microsoft. She wouldn't give me the money. I needed $1,000. My mother never wanted me to succeed because, for one thing, she felt superior and she had to keep me under her thumb. It's part of the domineering Jewish mother thing. I don't care. We don't talk about that woman here. All right? That is a forbidden subject. My mother called Cassie the hussy, the concubine, and worse for years till finally Kathy told her off, I told her off, screaming and yelling at my mother for an hour. Well, my mother won February. I was very, very happy. I lost 26 pounds in one month. That's a lot of weight. My mother said something really nasty, and I blew up at her. My mother was laughing. You need psychiatric help, yada, 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 yada. My mother was a trained psychiatric nurse, had no empathy for her son. Walked out, stomped out. Kathy said to my mother, oh, you should uh, sit here and talk to me. She said, why? You just gave my boyfriend a ration of crap for the last two hours. I'm leaving. Finally, my mother realized that Kathy and I were never going to break up, which is what she tried to do for years. If my mother didn't approve of it, if it wasn't acceptable to her, if it didn't make money, didn't make prestige, she said, "You, I want you to be a mensch. I want you to be an important person. That wasn't important to me. Happy was important to me. Having enough to live on was important to me. Being happy with my girlfriend was important to me. My mother looked at material things and and money success and not quality of life. And she wanted me to be a doctor. And since I had medical issues as a child, I didn't want to be anywhere near a hospital. My mother was a nurse. I spent enough time in hospitals. Waiting for her to get off work and have my own medical issues as a child. They think I, there's nothing wrong with me here now. I had grand malls as a child. I fainted and bled. Plus died. Pronounced, pronounced dead twice. And they took blood from me at the hospital when I went in there Tuesday. And they took blood. And they took blood. They took blood. Did we get the vampires away from me? She knew Tony Fields. She knew Frank Sinatra. She took me to the White House. We met. I met John F. John F. Kennedy. She worked for Raoul Desri. We met Richard Nixon. We were Nixon's law office in 1962 in New York. So, 
and we knew she knew congressmen and senators and all kind. We lived in Washington D.C. for eight years, so she knew a lot of high, powerful people back then. I had a problem with Nixon, but then he was not a crook then. I've never understood that facet of Richard Nixon's character. I have his book somewhere. Uh, one of these days, when I clear all this stuff up, she worked for a, you can look it up, it's a little hard to find him, Raoul, R-A-O-U-L, Desverney, D-E-S-V-E-R-I-N-E, his father was the mayor of Santiago or Havana, Cuba. During Batista, he was an anti-Castro attorney in Washington, D.C. Very powerful. He owned a steel company. He was a Republican who supported the FDR at first, but he thought the things the FDR were doing were leading to communism. So, remember, this is back in 1932. And uh, she took care of him when he got a stroke. He was also at one point the head of attorney for Inland Steel, Republic Steel, and Sony. So she got to meet a lot of people through that. And uh, I'm being taken to all these places, the Army Navy Club, uh, the White House. People don't believe me, but I have no reason to lie. Um, She would go to parties in Washington, D.C. and take me with her because someone had to babysit the kids. So I'd be dragged along and go to sleep in the bedroom. My mother, before she died, about a year or two, you know, any money I spend on you is one dollar you won't get for your inheritance. And she left me, she left money in the bank. I got money enough to buy another Prius. And bought stuff and, you know, but I sat down with the checkbook registers that the babushka bleep didn't throw out, and I figured out that she gave away to my other relatives $33,000, and yet George didn't get $33,000, plus that she bought them, she bought my sister a house, she bought two nieces a house. She gave thousands away when uh, my cousin got married and the uh, grand, I don't know what you would call that, the daughter of my, of, of my niece who was actually, her grandchild got married. So, but 33 grand to other people and buying them a house really hurts because I'm living in po relative poverty. And my mother had this stupid accident policy. It was 10000 And I tried to tell her, and she goes, how dare you pry to my financial affairs? She was very, I don't know, weird about that. I said, this is not an accident. This is not a life insurance. My sister got a policy, had a life insurance policy for her. She got $5,000. I could have bought my own car for $5,000. Or bought a piece of land and built a house. So I had no life insurance. That, that's how my mother was, though. And when I got older, I was very attentive. She was very manipulative, and I didn't see her for a year. I was glad of it, because constant complaining, and how can you live your life this way, and she hadn't even seen me for a year. Now what I'm doing. She sends the housekeeper over with a $1,000 check. I took the check and grabbed it. The housekeeper says, your mother's dying. You have to go see your mother. So being a dutiful son, $1,000 or not, oh my God, she's dying. What the hell's wrong? I got to get over there. I get in my car, drive to San Francisco. There's not a damn thing wrong with her. But it drove her nuts. She hadn't heard from him for a year. So there, she would pay, and she would do things for other people. 
And uh, when she died, she was practically, there was me, a Chinese lady that came by, and her friend Stanley, and unfortunately the thief, Babushka, housekeeper, who stole thousands from me. I, I probably lost anywhere from five to $15,000. I would not, if I had gotten that money that she took, I got five back, but she threw away all the paperwork and it would have cost me a small fortune to go back with all the checkbooks. If I had gotten all the money she stole, I would be in a house today. I'd be on land that I would build a house. Oh, she stole money. My mother couldn't see because she had macular degeneration. She would sign the checks and uh, she would go to the Safeway and have a check for $500. She, she'd pocket $300. That's what she was doing. You're not going to go after my relatives, so don't start this. And they're not relatives in quotes, they're my relatives. So it's time for you, uh, Shamu Fingerman, I give you the finger. Bye-bye. I love my relatives. But my mother, you know, it's like the old Tommy Smothers joke. Mom always liked you best. Except there wasn't any best in my, in my case. My mother never approved of and I had a chance to work for DC Comics. Mother, I need $100 to go to San Diego. To one of the first comic cons, she wouldn't give me the money. I would have been an editor at DC Comics on Superman, my favorite comic character. She didn't have Jack. What's well, another thing? She had a nursing cape from her nursing student days. That disappeared. She had important paperwork from Germany. The whole family on her first husband. That disappeared. There was jade and jewelry and expensive rings. Those disappeared. I don't know what happened to them. Maybe the Babushka stole them. Stuff I saw in, in January of the year she died, my American Express came, card came. $11,000 card. The Babushka threw it in the garbage. And I didn't get the card to April, and then people have complained I used the card. So um, there was stuff going on behind the scenes that I didn't know about. And when I walked in after she died, I start going to the paperwork. Where's the jade? Where's the diamonds? Where's the... Uh, 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 emeralds. Where are the gold rings and stuff? Where is the gold necklaces and things? It's all gone. And I was too distraught. No, so long, schmuck. <laughs> I was too distraught and too, you know, we had a month to get all the stuff out of there. She had had a flood and the whole apartment was full of mildew, the floors, the walls. And, and I, Kat and I went over there every day for a solid month trying to get stuff out of there. We were loading stuff in the car. And finally, and then the, when we got done, I got sick with another sinus infection and sheer exhaustion. And I, I, I went to the hospital in an ambulance again. This was four or five years ago. And then after that, Kathy backed the car into a truck and... The car stopped working. We had to sell it for 10% of what it was worth. It was a horrible time. And then Kathy got evicted. So, no, it was nothing worth selling. I sold her wheelchair for $200 to a guy in Georgia who refurbished. His sister came out with someone else with a truck, and they carted it off, and they flew it back to Georgia. And he refurbished them for people who need wheelchairs. Some Russian woman, that's why I call her Babushka Bleep, we came here with no money, no house, no car, no husband. And when she got done with my mother, she had a brand new house, new car, went to Europe on a cruise and had thousands of dollars. And it's all money. But well, you're not thinking straight when your mother dies. It was 94 years old and you're going, oh my God, what do I do now? She's dying on me. I never had anybody die on me except a pet chicken once. And cats. Not humans. Yeah. Took my heritage. My mother was not reporting certain income at one point. 
Nebabuska turned her in and she got into trouble for it. So I would have fired her for that. <laughs> for betraying betraying my personal information. Well, like I said, she stole between five and fifteen thousand dollars from me, but the important thing was that piece of paperwork from Germany. My mother's first husband, the family was very, very rich. I'm talking billions. And my sister is part of the first family. But the contact information, I would have liked to meet my mother's first husband's family. There were 800 people at the reunion that she went to. Paperwork disappeared. And I would have to go to Germany with a translator because I don't know a lot of German and track them down and get nice clothes and all that. My, uh, and my relatives in Germany, my cousins are still alive, but my aunts and uncles, I think, are all dead now. So My mother had to pay back wages for the housekeeper and all kinds of stuff. It was, but I, I said, how can you have this woman around you? She, she got you into trouble. Now, in retrospect, when I bought Kathy the Prius for $7,500, I wasn't thinking straight. Kathy needs a car, we need a car, we got to take care of all this stuff, my mother. What I should have done is bought two Priuses. I should have spent half the money on the Prius, got an older Prius, and bought a second car so we'd have a car. Seven, maybe eight, I can't remember. If I had that 15000 or 5000 I would have bought Apple stock. I'm buying, I'll buy another car because the poor one just had to walk home four miles in the heat. And also because I have mobility issues. Well, that's another thing. i got to pay off my traffic fines. And then the idiot, the DMV, reported that I had a stroke when I didn't have a stroke. I have to fight that with an attorney. They suspended my license for having a stroke when I never had a stroke. And that they refused, they refused to remove that suspension because some clerk overheard me saying to Kathy, I had pain in my leg so bad I thought I had an effing stroke. She reported, uh, drivers had a stroke and they suspended my license through hearsay. That's why I own a license. Aside from the traffic fine that they got to pay off one day. Well, there's no point in paying them off because they don't have a car. No, 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 this is state. This has nothing to do with the congressman. Uh, I contacted my state senator, and then he became a congressman, so I got to go to another senator. And from what I've seen of the senators who replaced this guy, the staff is uh, clueless. I've been complaining about a piece of legislation that the state suspended payments on. We're probably owed about $5,000 from that thing, and they've never funded the money again, even though they're supposed to. So, um, we are owed money from a senior renter's program, and we've been owed money since 1984, and it's supposed to be paid back with interest. I have a car right now, or my, there's an electric scooter I can get with, a, with an FM radio, headlights, taillights, windshield wipers, air conditioning, goes 30 miles an hour, can do a 30 degree grade, has a heater, I would have him put AM radio in, put a couple of USB ports in there, put a plug for the air purifier. It has doors. It's completely self-enclosed and it's $4,000. I wouldn't need a car. I'd like to have a car again on my own, but I wouldn't need one. Amy Sue tooled me tooling around my wheelchair. It's made of Canadian company. 
They had a forgiveness program, but I was sick with yet another. I've had this sinus infection business where I was very, I was in bed for two years at one point. Could not leave the house. Kathy had to come over and get me groceries. I was so sick. The minute I left the house, I started coughing up stuff and vomiting. So excuse my, but uh, that's how bad I was. That's how sick I was. That was the first time when they didn't pull the first tooth. So I don't want to be in this tiny apartment. I want my land. I want my 40 acres. 10 acres at the very least. Build my container house. Build my workshop. Build my greenhouse. Hot tub. Above ground pool made out of two dumpsters, which is sanded down and paint all take off. Water tank. Um, well, I told Kev, if you wreck this one, that's it. I ain't helping get another one. Had a long talk of it one day. <laughs> I saw a picture. These two guys took a BMW or a Volkswagen. They cut the roof off. They sealed the inside of the car. It was drivable. <laughs> they filled it full of water and soap bubbles and turned it into a hot tub on wheels. That was, they were sitting in the front seat. Very funny. How they did that, I don't know. An actual video where they turned the Volkswagen into a hot tub. But if I had bought Apple at 15, I probably, I wouldn't have been a millionaire. But I could have taken $5,000 or $15,000. It's 15, it went to 600 and, split and dropped. Split. I would have $800,000 by now or more. That's why I'm so mad about the housekeeper. Well, I got to go, people. Let's see if I can feed tiny one. And I'm disappointed nobody donated Super Chat. I cannot buy equipment without money. And don't give me this crap either. I'm begging all the time. When you're living 942.35 a month and your rent is 247. You got six ninety five left. It's hard to buy GoPros for four hundred dollars. All right. This is George. Send to the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great night. Say, ow, 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 ow. That's my knee, my knee, ow. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be, and stay safe. And I will catch you next time. Bye, bye for now. Time to ice the knee down. Have a good. One. Next time, donate, please. Thank you. Be appreciated.